Kurt Martin here alongside assistant coach Tiff Sarden. And after tonight's game, does it sort of feel like one that got away? Yeah, you know, we fought so hard, you know, uh, trying to make a comeback. But, you know, we still proud of our women for the fight and, and the toughness that they pl displayed down the stretch. And, and, you know, it is a tough one. It's, it's a tough one to follow because we know, you know, we, we want it so bad for our women to win that game. And, um, and we just got to, you know, come out with it and start off better. Exactly. And what do you think sort of led to that rough start in the beginning? A few uncharacteristic turnovers in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Sort of what led to that, do you yeah, think? Yeah, nothing to take uh, away from ECU. Uh, very aggressive, scrappy team. They've turned a lot of teams over. You know, their defense is, is, is intense, it's aggressive, and, you know, they're able to play. They're able to play, have be a little handsy, but uh, we, we did our part in trying to prepare our women for that, and, you know, we knew they would come out. We knew they would come out aggressive, you know, very intense in that, in that press that they had, but, you know, we just got to be able to handle it. And in that second half, 0 of 7 at the halftime, but sort of came out and hit more threes in the second half. What was the message like at halftime to keep the team's morale high? You know, stick with the game plan. You know, yeah. keep, keep, keep ch chipping away. You know, stay, stay in the game. Stay focused. Next play. Next play. You know, we can't hang our heads and be stuck in one play. Uh, but just to, you know, go and get a stop. Go and execute on the end. Go and get a stop. And, and just, just keep fighting. You know, keep fighting. Then at the end of the game, sort of a tough situation there. Now, what do you tell the team to keep, you know, spirit up, I guess, after a crushing loss like that? Uh, the, the season is still young. Yeah, It's exactly. still young. So we, we got some ways to go. Um, this is a game that we'll learn from mm -hmm. and, and keep moving forward. You know, we, we in this together. We in this together, and we tell our women we stick together, you know, uh, no matter what. That's what we preach. We're family. Um, and we'll hang on to that. You know, we'll hang our heads on that. So, And Kyla with 26 points tonight. Mm -hmm. I know you're very proud of the offense performance. You know, what does she provide this offense that you haven't had? And I know you're only here for your second year. But what did you not have last year that she gives you this year? You know, Kyla is just a, a super competitive player. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a special player for our program. Uh, and, and she she lived for moments like this, exactly. you know. Uh, she's a she's a player that that'll get respect really early on uh, because of the way she played, the style she played, and we just excited she's on our team. Mm -hmm. So, how excited? You know, moving into the Thanksgiving break, do you guys have any plans together as a team? Yeah, yeah. Coach Tillett is going to cook Thanksgiving dinner for the team. Those who will be sticking around because uh, we'll have a few days off. Uh, so Coach Chilla is going to have dinner, uh, prepare dinner for us, which we all excited about to taste her cooking again. Um, she's the she's kind of the chef for our team when we have uh, team function. So we uh, that's what we'll do. We'll you know bring in Thanksgiving together, um, which we're all grateful for to be spending uh, this time with each other. So yeah. Cool. Well, I definitely thank you for your time tonight, and hope you can guys can turn it back around soon. Really pulling for you thank guys. Thank you. Thank so, you so much. Thank you.